And now we have a video game review with Joy Shope. The game is State of Decay. The end is here. Life as you know it has all gone to hell. And the mother of all zombie outbreaks has occurred. Now you and a few scattered survivors must band together and rebuild your city. This is a third person action game in a dynamic open world. And you choose where you make your stand. The game costs 1,600 Microsoft points. It's rated M for gore and violence. And here's Joy Shope with that review. All right, we've got a video game review with Joey Shope. This is State of Decay on the Xbox uh, Arcade Network. Yeah, I, I download on the Arcade Network, and uh, let me tell you, man, I've had a lot of fun with this game. Okay, what's the basic uh, plot or synopsis of the game? So, it's a zombie game, right. but instead of, you know, say Dead Island or other games of that genre, where you're trying to kill as many zombies as possible or something to the effect of that, it's more about survival, and, you know, it's really interesting because... You know, you have to get resources. Uh, you have to get uh, more people, otherwise your population is going to dwindle. So this is not a uh, first-person shooter. This is not a first. This is a third-person again, kind of more survivally. You know, you do have guns, you do have weapons that you can kill mm -hmm. zombies with. It's uh, kind of like um, Farmville, or you know, where you're building a community. And uh, to a much, much grander scale, yes, because you know you're put in this community where you know there's a there's a, a city, there's a smaller town. It's it's like in the farm area, kind of. You know, you can there's these tiny little farms, but then you have these huge cities that are full of um, zombies and other and other things. What I like a lot about this game is they don't spoon feed you this game. I feel like a lot of issues that I have with modern games is like, oh, here's how you shoot a gun, or here's how you do anything. Whereas this one, they don't treat you like a child. You know, they're, they, they just said, give you stuff, and you they figure just it yeah, out. you they essentially figure it out. There's there's an overall arcing theme, but what's crazy about it is you know your main the very first character you can start off with can die, and once he's dead, he's gone forever. Uh -huh. And then you you can get other so characters. There's no respawning. There's no respawning. Once this character is dead, you can play as other characters, but you know, now your main character's gone. Now it's all more about survival, it's about the story. So your your goal here is to survive. So yeah. uh, it's is it about fighting zombies, warding off zombies, or finding food? You know, it's all that and more. It's a really great game. I I've just been having so much fun playing it because like I said, you know, it's not just, oh, shoot a zombie in the head. It's okay, I have to avoid these zombies, otherwise my character's gonna die. This game is more about avoidance and survival than mm -hmm. just taking a gun and shooting a zombie. Okay, so it's not like Dead Rising, we just... Yeah, the, yeah, you just mow down as many zombies as possible. You know, there's some little tongue-in-cheek things, like, yeah, you can, uh, you know, get in a car and mm -hmm. uh, kill a bunch of zombies by running them over. That's even an achievement. Right. But, you know, there. but it's, it's straight up a really great game. If you're into kind of harder games, too, it's a kind of a hard game because, uh -huh. like I said, they're not spoon-feeding you. That also means that you're gonna get and not a lot of tips and a lot of hints how to do it. So it sounds like it's more of a strategy game than it is an action game. Oh yeah, you're gonna be slow. you you as the person you're gonna be spending a lot of time thinking, do I really want to do this action? Do I really want to go to this place over this place? Mm -hmm. Because each one of them might have more zombies or less zombies. This the uh, component you need might not be worth it in the end. You may lose uh, someone you've been working with. I personally just lost somebody I've been playing with for five hours right. to a zombie, and I was like. <sighs> This is this is this is terrible. Said, you cried. And I didn't. Uh, well, you mourned. I yeah. There was there was a brief five minutes of silence for okay. this character. So let me ask you this then: Are there missions to solve, or is it an open sandbox? You have the choice. There are missions available, or you can just simply you know do whatever you just want. Exist. Yeah. Uh, the more missions you get uh, to a point that unlocks certain things, like you can move your house, you can get more people. But uh, technically, you could just be by yourself trying to survive. Mm -hmm. Uh, you build a bit. shack and have a gun and just essentially, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I've just been having a lot of fun. It's only twenty dollars, and this is probably the best. This is the best XBLA game I've ever gotten. All right. So from a scale from one to ten, so how would you score State of Decay? A nine. Nine. All right. This is Joey with his video game review.